Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'll be reading Ruth 4 of the King James Version Bible and it reads Then went Boaz up to the gate and sat him down there and behold the king's man of whom Boaz spake came by unto whom he said Ho, oh, such a one, turn aside, sit down here and he turned aside and sat down and he took ten men of the elders of the city and said, Sit ye down here. And they sat down. And he said unto the king's man, Naomi, that is come again out of the country of Moab, selleth a parcel of land, which was our brother Elimelech's. And I thought to advertise thee, saying, Buy it before the inhabitants and before the elders of my people. If thou wilt redeem it, redeem it. But if thou wilt not redeem it, then tell me that I may know. For there is none to redeem it beside thee, and I am after thee. And he said, I will redeem it. Then said Boaz, What day thou buyest the field of the hand of, of, the hand of Naomi? Thou must buy it also of Ruth, the Moabitess, the wife of the dead to raise up a name of the dead upon his inheritance. And the king's men said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest I mar mine own inheritance. Redeem thou my right to thyself, for I cannot redeem it. Now this was the manner in former time in Israel concerning redeeming and concerning changing, for to confirm all things, a man plucked off his shoe and gave it to his neighbor, and this was a testimony in Israel. Therefore the king's, the king's men said unto Boaz, Buy it for thee. So he drew off his shoe. And Boaz said unto the elders, and unto all the people, Ye are witnesses this day, that I have bought all that was Elimelech's, and all that was Shilion's, and Malon's, of the, na of the hand of Naomi. Moreover, Ruth the Moabitess, the wife of Melon, have I purchased to be my wife, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance, that the name of the dead be not cut off from among his brethren, and from the gate of his place, ye are witnesses this day. And all the people that were in the gate and the elders said, We are witnesses. The Lord make the woman that is come into thine house like Rachel, and like Leah, which too did build the house of Israel, and do thou worthily in Ephrathah, and be famous in Bethlehem, and let thy house be like the house of Phares, whom Tamar bare unto Judah, of the seed which the Lord shall give thee of this young woman. So Boaz took Ruth, and she was his wife. And when he went in unto her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bare a son. And the woman said unto Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, which hath not left thee this day without a king's man, that his name may be famous in Israel. And he shall be unto thee a restorer of thy life, and a nourisher of thine old age. For the daughter-in-law which loveth thee, which is better to thee than seven sons, hath borne him. And Naomi took the child and laid it in her bosom and became nurse unto it. And the women, her neighbors, gave it a name, saying, There is a son born to Naomi, and they called his name Hobed. He is the father of Jess, the father of David. Now these are the generations of Phares. Phares begat Ezron, and Ezron begat Ram, and Ram begat Am Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Neshon, and Neshon begat Salmon, and Salmon begat Boaz, and Boaz begat Obed, and Obed begat Jess, and Jess begat David. Okay, guys, so this is showing a lineage, okay, right here, the last part, and it's showing where the act that Ruth did, that Naomi sent Ruth to do, actually worked, because Boaz took her to wife, right? And the tradition, I already spoke of the tradition many times before, and even in this chapter, right? 
um, where it was not in this chapter sorry <laughs> I'm sorry guys not in this chapter but I spoke of it before a few chapters back right and what happened was that you there were certain customs and the custom was that you'd look out for your brother and you would try not to to ensure that your brother's name would not be removed from the face of the earth so you carry on his seed through you even if he died and had no children so you'd go on to his wife and help her to bear a son and that son would take on his name not the man that actually laid with the wife okay and here we are being introduced to yet another custom of Israel where they actually took off their shoe one of their shoe upon swearing um, to take on a brethren's land to possess a brethren's land which is what Boaz did he took the land unto himself he bought the land and with it he took Ruth to be his wife okay and that just goes to speak that whatever the Lord wills will actually come to pass okay and all things work out for those who actually look to please God and that's what Ruth did she looked to please God because she wanted to honor the God of Naomi if you recall when Naomi was sending her and their other sister-in-law back to their households back to their family then she had said that she would serve Naomi's God right because she saw that all Na she saw all that Naomi's God had done for her and she would serve Naomi's God right so here we see that she was actually repaid for her kindness okay by being blessed even with his son okay so there you go all right guys not gonna spend much time on this because this was pretty straightforward all right so guys please don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification so you're alerted to whenever a new audio video is posted and guys please don't forget to share your revelations your thoughts and your comments down below in the comment section okay have yourselves a blessed day remember to keep your salvation and if you've not yet gained it then seek it there's no better time than the present to begin have yourselves a blessed day bye